vlog for. I am doing so much better than where you last left me. Honestly, that was a crazy few days where I just had this fever and I was, in the night, I was sleeping and having these hallucinating dreams and I was wet with sweat. It was crazy. I am feeling, yeah, like I say, a lot better and getting a bit more energy, had a few sleep and some really good nights of sleep you'll be happy to hear. And I actually feel that in some weird way, and I almost don't want to speak too soon, I'm so protective of, uh, you know, not wanting to jinx good health, but because my appetite was decreased, I was eating a lot more infrequently, and therefore I was able to give my digestive system a bit of a break, and therefore giving the J pouch a break, and I feel that some things have improved there as a byproduct of having a low appetite. So I'm hopefully giving you a whole bunch of good news. I will keep you updated in the coming days and weeks if it stays good, but you know what? We're gonna claim every little win we can. So today, we have a day off together, which is so nice. Uh, so yes, I could have done some work today, but because it was Ty's day off, and uh, you know, we don't really work a traditional Monday to Friday anyway, uh, we can kind of pick and choose when we wanna have our days off. So I've made today a day off, and we are going to look at some more cars. The ones we looked at on the weekend, they, it was good to get an idea, but there were a couple of things each time that we were kind of like, mm, I'm not sure about. We looked at one car that was at the upper end of our budget, and we definitely are happy with it, but we're kind of looking at ones that are a little bit less and seeing is the one that's at the upper end of the budget that much better for the extra cost. We had a nice gravel morning this morning. We had a slow start to the day, but we do want to get our groceries done now. We're gonna to go to Superstore, pick up some of the basics, and then go to our first car viewing in Richmond. Richmond, Metro Town, one near us, which I won't say the suburb, but one in Vancouver, and then back home. And tonight we're actually going to a special little Christmassy evening with Sophie and James. It is at Reflections Bar at Hotel Georgia. So it's the first kind of Christmassy thing of the season that we're doing. Obviously, actually, that's a lie. Obviously, I've been to a ton of Christmas parties thus far. But first kind of all decked out Christmas vibes. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm feeling a little bit more energized. Appetite's still not fully back. But Sophie made me the most delicious tomato soup last night. And her and James picked up some fresh sourdough and a cinnamon bun. And they did a, uh, a delivery and it was just delightful. Did you enjoy the soup? It was beautiful. It was so good. Sophie is such a good cook. She's so good with plants and uh, so good with, you know, vegetables and, and making meals out of vegetables, out of plants. And it's just so flavorful. Anyway, I'll take you along with me for the day. Have you got our loony for a trolley? Ooh. I think I do. I think it's in the loony, the loony bin. Yeah. Hey. I can smell pine trees. So not bad. Look, $39.94 for a decent sized tree. Hot cross buns at this time of year. I wouldn't say no though. Look at these, these are apple chalk caramels. Not my cup of tea, I feel like they break my teeth, but you know, each to their own. Okay, I feel like we need some lettuce. Ooh. Okay, do you want the orange navels or are you more after mandarins? They've got bags of mandarins, loose ones, or just the oranges. Mandarins. They're not in season, so Are these persimmons? Yes, I love persimmons. But you can only buy them by the crate. Okay. Pick a bag. Okay. A lovely lady told me that there are singles of the persimmons. So I'm going to get one, a dollar ninety-nine each. Hmm. Zucchini. Okay, it's still good for tomatoes, don't need them. What about cucumber? We don't need a big three pack. Okay. okay. Good for cucumbers. I don't know why, but that looks like Easter eggs to me. Frozen food section. 
Do you need any dumplings? Lots of Christmas cookies. What is that? Interesting. Don't love Mars pen. Look, the blue sky's coming out. We are arriving. Oh, I guess all of the cars that don't have number plates are hers. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a lot of them. Okay, teensy bit of a mess around at that spot. The guy said that he hadn't had the chance to go get the vehicle to bring it to this site. So it's about a six or seven minute drive away from here. I'm assuming you store a certain amount of the vehicles off site. So we're gonna head there now and someone's gonna meet us there, show us that vehicle. This place also does trade-ins and they said regardless, I know it's so noisy, regardless of if your car needs body work and obviously we need the part replaced for the window. Uh, so maybe it could be a good opportunity to trade in rather than us having to sell this ourselves or you know, whatever, sort the part. So I don't know. We just went and looked at the car and I think that one's also a no. We're just being, well obviously you've got to shop around and be quite selective. Already it just, wasn't the right fit basically. The sun has come out which is ideal and we've got one more car to look at. So far I think we would say there's been things we've liked about pretty much all the cars we've looked at but nothing's been an absolute yes and we kind of divide and conquer so when we're test driving it Ty's listening to the engine and he's checking all of that and I'm looking at the cosmetic aspect of it is there any rust scratches in the interior the seats all that kind of stuff. Bloody beautiful. I'm gonna have some of the delicious soup that Sophie made and some of the fresh sourdough. It's still so fresh that all I need to do is just put a little bit of olive oil spread on it and then just heat the soup. It's just so good together. Here it is, very scrumptious and delicious and heartwarming. We're just watching Home Alone 2. This is actually what the tree is looking like. We did run out of ribbon. Uh, so we also have another stream of lights that we need to put in that are the little pine cone lights. But I think we want to get one more ream of ribbon just to really fill in the gaps. Then the battery lights, but we also ran out of batteries. So we do need another trip to Dollarama. But for now, it's still looking pretty cute, I think. Okay, while Ty's been taking a little cat nap, I got ready. I did just wipe off. I tried red lipstick and I've wiped it off, but I haven't got it all off yet. So ignore the lips, but I've just done a really sort of soft kind of glowy makeup look. And I'm going to decide what to wear, but... He set his alarm, it's only like four o'clock, just, it's really dark. Uh, he set his alarm and it should be going off any moment now. So once his alarm goes off, I will go into the bedroom and start to rummage through the wardrobe. I think I'm going to either wear, I'm definitely gonna wear a fluffy knit. I want to wear either my black or gray fluffy knit on the top and just be super cozy, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear a skirt or trousers and boots just it's not raining or anything and both would be fine temperature wise um yeah i'm not sure there is a dress code the dress code's just business casual so i guess no denim and sneakers but you know I, i'm not sure they're going to be super strict on that or anything they've just got a certain vibe they're going for um yeah this is not a look okay so i ended up dressing for comfort i'm wearing this oversized chunky knit it's a v-neck and you can pull it off the shoulder if you like I don't really wear it like that. I wear it sort of over to kind of one side slightly. I'm not really gonna do much with the hair. I think this will be fine. Uh, I've decided to pair it with these navy trousers. They're kind of tailored at the top, but then they go out wide legs, super comfortable. We are gonna be walking to the train station, catching the Sky Train, and then walking from there to Hotel Georgia. So I definitely wanted to be dressed for comfort. Just didn't feel like wearing a skirt. Sometimes when you're walking around in stockings, you have to hike them up. If we were Ubering there, maybe I just it wouldn't bother me, but yeah, anyway. Uh, and this is the coat I'm gonna wear. This is just a nice, good old classic. I don't even know how long ago I got this one. I think I got this before we went to New York. So I got this in 2018 and it has served me really well. And I usually just wear it over my shoulders just for some extra warmth, but I might end up adding a scarf and I'm gonna wear my heeled boots. And Gibby sadly can't come with us, but that's why we bought her some treats and some jelly meat. Oh, is that light a bit bright for you? I'm sorry. Anyway, we're meeting Sophie outside shortly. James is coming straight from work and we're gonna come in together, Sophie, Ty and I, and then we'll meet James there. Look at all the Christmas lights. So 
so this is Hotel Georgia. I think they pronounce it Georgia, but I think I sound fancy when I say Georgia. And I think Reflections Bar is rooftop, but I don't know if it's the legitimate rooftop or if they've got a middle layer that has a terrace. I don't know, so we'll find that out soon. And there's ice skating down there. One big tree, three little trees. delivered some hot apple cider. It smells delicious. We will wait for Sophie to get back from the bathroom before we try it though. Mm. So is this alcoholic or non-alcoholic, James? Non-alcoholic. Okay. Oh, it's That is so nice. Oh no wait, that's, no, James, that's, that's James's. James's that though. That's Oh, we're like, oh, Ty. Ty's got the spicy one. So I know. That's fine. We can get him a hot chocolate later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, my finger. That looks so good. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. We just got a little pumpkin cheesecake that we're actually all going to share. <laughs> finger for reference. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very I big. Actually, I we just wanted to, to try it. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Because. Time. 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 So I got an impossible rice bowl and I stuffed out the pickled cabbage for kale. And then James, which one did you get? Uh, I forget. You forget, but it looks like uh, ramen. So have you got the creamy one? Yeah. Creamy vegan one? Yeah, so it's got impossible meat, tofu, oh, yeah. and some veggies in it. Good morning. We are certainly up and at them. Early start today, which I'm feeling. Still definitely feeling the drag. Whew, and I'm out of breath from being, you know, sick and just basically spending the last few days just in bed. It's quite an effort to be out amongst the real world. Whew. This walk is making me super out of breath, to be fair. I am walking quite briskly. I'm going to pick up my printing from Staples. I ordered it. I was meant to pick it up yesterday, but I just didn't have time. So I've just printed a bunch of master documents that I wanted to have a hard copy of, and I've got them all binded together. So I'm going to pick that up, and then I'm gonna work from a cafe for a bit. I've already packed my breakfast, as you would have seen. So I'm gonna have that and just get some work done. I mean, I think I'm gonna have a sauna. I think that would feel really good. I feel on the back foot today, but at the same time productive. I just feel because it's taking a few days off doing all general life admin, that stuff's really stacked up on top of my workload. So in between working, I've obviously gone to pick up my printing that took me longer than expected in the queue. And then I just went to the post office. I haven't had my lunch yet. I just went to the post office to pick up a parcel, which was so lovely. My mom sent me a wheat bag. There was 13 people in the queue and it just took so long. And now I've got to go to UPS to do a return 
and I'm just really hoping there's not going to be a queue there. I also need to use the printer, so hopefully that's just seamless. I really need some lip balm. I need some electrolytes. That sounds like what I'm doing is a major sport. I just think I'm a bit dehydrated. Need some electrolytes and I for sure need some lunch. So that's next on the agenda. Thank you so much. I've decided I'm gonna get some more decaf coffee beans because they really floated my boat the other day and it's just such a nice afternoon pick me up without actually having to have any caffeine. Decaf wise, decaf we just have the hazelnut cream, but that one's good. I think I've, that's the one I've had at Sophie's. Okay, I've been home for a little while now and the sun is setting. I've got a little bit of work done. I'm still on the buzz of eating dinner relatively early. So I'm going to eat dinner 4.45 ish because it just gives it enough time to digest. I can also have a Ninja Creamy, maybe a snack after dinner if I'm really hungry, but because I'm going to bed so early because I have an early start, having this dinner early has been a game changer for not interrupting my sleep. So wherever I can, uh, I'm gonna do it. Obviously last night I had dinner much later, not super late, but I would have had dinner around 7.30 and I'm now trying to, whenever I'm at home and it's within my control to have it much earlier. This is what I'm going to have and I'm gonna beef it up with a bunch of veg. So just with some broccoli and some veg. So this is uh, the cauliflower gnocchi and it's the one for President's Choice. It's kind of taking off the Trader Joe's one if you've had that before basically tastes the same to me. But I figured out that I really enjoy putting it in the air fryer. So I just put some baking paper in. And first of all, I cook it on a slightly lower temperature to kind of thaw it out for a little bit. And then I crank it up and it's just got this nice kind of crispy texture to it. Uh, that's been something that I've been enjoying. So I'm gonna have some tomato -y pasta sauce for that and some veg. But I've got my parcel that I picked up. Honestly, the amount of time I waited in queues at both the post office and the UPS office, it's definitely testing your patience this time of year because there's so many people who are just so rude to uh, the post office workers and it just is so frustrating to hear you like as if they want this to be complicated but they'll come you know and be really upset about the charges of where their parcels being sent which I understand but then they'll take it out on the on the actual workers and it's not their fault. It's just simply what they're being quoted based upon the weight. And I just hate that. Oh, this is really cute. So this is from a company called Little Comfort and it's my new wheat bag. And I told mum that we couldn't really get them any places here, specifically these ones. By these ones, I mean, oh, we're in a bit of a, bit of a pickle here. These ones with where you can fold them over so you can, you can put them around your neck if you've got a sore neck. Particularly for me, I like to put it across my abdomen when it's sore or lower back when I've got sore lower back or particularly, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I have dislocated the shoulder multiple times and often I sleep. So when I'm sleeping on my side, I'm good at being nice and strong on this side when I'm sleeping. This is me sleeping. And I actually sleep like this. It's really irritating and I don't know why I do it. So I wake up with relatively sore wrists, but I sleep like this or I sleep with my hands on my pillow. And then on this side, I like sink into the shoulder. So instead of being nice and strong, I sink into it and it can often cause me a little bit of pain there. So I like to have it over just like this. And honestly, this is a savior in winter. I love kind of just carrying it around and all you have to do is heat it up in the microwave with a mug of water and it smells good too. And so, not sure if mum's watching this vlog, but thanks mum. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into some dinner. So they kind of look like this, like little nuggets, and they're crispy and puffy and pillowy and really good. I did make myself a little high protein pasta sauce with tomato paste, some Greek yogurt, some nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, onion, salt, garlic, and I really need to run my finger under water because I burnt my finger on the bowl and it is gonna blister. Wow, this really doesn't look appetizing, but I promise you it is. Here's the finished product. I went for fresh romaine lettuce and cherry tomato rather than cooked veg because I was just fancying salad with pasta kind of vibes. 
I just got into bed. This is such a look. My heatless curls. I lost the other scrunchie. I don't know where it is. But anyway, this is the look as we go to bed. They say the uglier you go to sleep, the prettier you wake up. I'm going to read my book. I'm blowing through this one. It is called, I want to say Nightingale or The Nightingale. Yeah, The Nightingale. And it's set in World War II and it's about these sisters. Uh, it's set in France. It has been great so far. I'm already at 30% and I only just started it. I think I talked about it ages ago, wondering if I'd read it or if I hadn't read it. Turns out I haven't. So great that I purchased it and hadn't read it. I have got a ginormous cup of tea. Here is my face for reference. It takes up my almost my whole face. It's the Dreamland tea and I realized this is the last of the tea bag. So I'm mad that I didn't pick it up yesterday in Superstore because that's the only place I know to get it. It is a PC President's Choice option, but still like no frills carries President's Choice, but they don't have all of the President's Choice items. So I'm not sure if I'll get it there, but it's been a lovely ritual every night, get into bed, read. I will also put a Christmas fireplace crackling scene on the TV in the room and I'll turn the lights off and I'll light a candle. I've just got the lights on now because otherwise the lighting would be very poor while I'm recording. And I just create that relaxing vibe because most of my evenings are spent on my own because Ty's at rehearsal, he opens this week. So it's super busy for him probably won't be seeing him a lot this week but then he'll be in kind of more of a regular schedule and routine once they open in that he'll know exactly what his days look like right now it's kind of he a little bit more reactive he doesn't know when he might be called in might be a little bit earlier might need to stay a little bit later just depending on you know what needs to be rehearsed so I'm really looking forward to a little bit more routine with that it's funny reflecting back on this time last year that we would have been in New Zealand and we would have been well and truly, so what, it's the 13th, we would have been well and truly in deep prep for wedding because our wedding was on the 17th of December and obviously a day ahead in New Zealand. Yeah, it would have been, you know, figuring out all the wet weather options and all the marquees. It was quite chaotic because the weather was so unpredictable, but yeah, it's hard not to wish I was there seeing all my friends it's such a cool time of year in New Zealand when people wind down for the year and it's super summery I know I've said I prefer a cold Christmas and I still do but I definitely like how New Zealand kind of shuts down for the year they don't really do that here because obviously in New Zealand school breaks up in the middle of December and for university students in November and then the summer period is, you know, the rest of December, all of January, and then you go back to school in February and for university, March. And so there's just this long extended period of time where the country's really quiet and everything sort of shuts down over Christmas, goes to limited hours, retail, you know, decreases their hours, cafes, etc. And it's just a collective kind of calm in the country. Whereas here, because most people only just take stat days or they might maximum take 10 days or max two weeks but most people work through you don't get that same vibe and it's a really cool vibe in summer when people are a bit more chilled but they all take their time off kind of sporadically not at the same time so while summer is an overall more chill vibe in general it still hums along because the country isn't all kind of closed down at the same time anyway I'm not sure if that makes sense but it is definitely a different vibe but mum and dad are here soon they leave in a week because they're going to Hawaii first. So I'm so excited for them. I can't wait. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Hopefully we stay in tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you all in my next Vlogmas vlog.